click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to study about the numericals on ion exchange method. Ion exchange is one of the most important processes of converting permanent hard water into soft water. It has three phases. The first phase or the first chamber is for the anions. The second phase or the second chamber is for the cations. And finally, we have the chamber for CO2 and other such gases which contribute to the hardness of water. So in the first phase, we try to remove all the anions which contribute to the hardness of water. In second phase, we remove all the cations which contribute to the hardness of water. Over here, in the numericals, we are not going to study about removal of gases. We are only going to study about the removal of cations and anions. Let's solve these numericals in detail in today's session. Numericals on ion exchange method. The first one is 10 raised to 3 liters of water was softened by IE method. IE stands for ion exchange method. So whenever you see the term IE, you have to understand that this numerical refers to the ion exchange method and you have to apply the formulas and work accordingly. For regeneration, 150 liter of 0.1 normal, over here again we have given the volume or the mass of it and we have 0.1 normal which is the normality. Each of HCl and NaOH, that means over here in the question I have HCl which has the normality of 0.1 and volume of 150 liters. Again, NaOH has the normality of 0.1 normal and the volume of 150 liters was needed by respective exhausted raisins. So now what is the question over here? The question over here is not about solving the problem of hardness of water to the softness of water. The question over here talks about the regeneration of the raisins, the raisins which are there in the ion exchange method. So both raisins are there, cation raisins and anion raisins. And for both the raisins, we'll have to solve it. So in the solution in ion exchange, cations are exchanged by cation exchangers, anions are exchanged by anion exchangers. The amount of acid or alkali used to regenerate the raisin is directly proportional or corresponds to the hardness of the water sample. Now whatever the water sample I have, if the water sample is extremely hard, that means I will need strong raisins over there. I will need a lot of regeneration for those raisins. But if that water sample is very diluted in form of the other equivalents, that means my hard water is not very hard, then the raisins will not get washed away very easily. And that's the reason why this is one of the most important lines when it comes to the ion exchange method and the problems which are, we are going to solve by ion exchange method. That is the amount of acid, over here the acid given to us is HCl or alkali, alkali given to us is NaOH. That means the amount of HCl or the amount of NaOH used or required to regenerate the raisin is directly proportional to or it corresponds to the hardness of the water sample. So over here both the quantity and the quality of the water sample is measured. Over here first we have the quality that is hence if 10 raised to 3 liters of water will correspond to 150 liters of 0.1 normal HCl. That means this is the volume of water over here, this is the volume of HCl and this is the normality of HCl. Similarly, this entire amount of water will correspond to 150L and 0.1 normal of NaOH. Why? Because 10 raised to 3 liters of water is corresponding to 150L and 0.1 normal HCl. It will also correspond to the same 150L and 0.1 normal of NaOH because in the question HCl and NaOH have both the same normality and the same volume. 150 into 0.1 normal of CaCO3. What is 150 into 0 0.1? It is 150 into 1 by 10. Over here the 0 of 10 and 150 will get cancelled and what will remain is only 15. So over here I am getting 15L. This is one of the important values that we have got. We will use this value further. So this is 15L of CaCO3. CaCO3 is the equivalent for hardness of water. Now one normal CaCO3 corresponds to 50 grams. Over here I have 10 raised to 3 liters of water. 
which will be equal to or which will correspond to 15 into 15. Now, from where did I get 15 into 50? I had one normal which corresponds to 50. Over here, I have 15L. That means it will correspond to 50 into 15. That means this 15 into 50 will give me 750 grams of CaCO3 equivalent. That means in this much liters of water, that is 10 raised to 3 liters of water, I have 750 CaCO3 equivalents. And this 750 grams of CaCO3 equivalent is nothing but my equivalent of hardness of that water. So 1 liter will be how much? The amount which is present upon 10 raised to 3. The amount which is present which we have found out is 750. Therefore 750 upon. This is the total volume we got it from your 750 upon 10 raised to 3 which corresponds to 0 0.75 grams CaCO3 equivalents. Now over here to just convert the grams into milligrams you have multiplied it by 1000. So 0 0.75 into 1000 which corresponds to finally 75 ppm. So the hardness of the water sample is 75 ppm. Question 2. The exhausted ion exchange resin. Over here also we are using the term exhausted. Whenever there are two terms exhausted or regeneration, we have to apply the same formula. So the terms we keep on seeing for or we keep on finding in these sums are firstly it should be ion exchange. So either they will write the term ion exchange or IE in the question. The second term we see is exhausted resin. That means we are using the formulas for regeneration. Or thirdly, they will just give it directly what do we need for regeneration. So ion exchange, exhausted or regeneration. If we see all these three keywords, that means we have to use exactly the same formulas which we have done in the last question. So the exhausted ion exchange resin consumed 250 liters and 0.1 normal of HCl. So where the volume of HCl is 250 liters, the normality of HCl is 0.1 normal. And same of NaOH, that means 250 liters of NaOH and 0.1 normality of NaOH. Solutions for regeneration, again we got another term regeneration, exhausted regeneration and ion exchange. That means we'll have to use the same formula, the same format. The raisins were used to soften 10 raised to 5 liters of water. In the previous example, we had the volume of water as 10 raised to 3 liters. In this example, we are having it as 10 raised to 5 liters. That means this has been changed. Even this has been changed. Only the normality is the same. Calculate amount of total hardness of water sample. That means what is the hardness of water and we have to calculate in terms of ppm. So again in the solution what is given to us, volume of hard water is given to us as 10 raised to 5 liters. Over here this is important because in these two sentences actually four things are given to us. How? Volume of HCl and NaOH. That means over here two things are given to us. Volume of HCl is 250 liters. Volume of NaOH is 250 liters. In the second sentence over here again two more things are given to us. That is normality of HCl. And normality of NaOH. That means normality of HCl is 0.1 normal and normality of NaOH is also 0.1 normal. This is the entire given to us. To calculate we have hardness of water and we have to calculate this hardness of water in ppm. ppm is parts per million. In ion exchange method cations and anions exchanges are regenerated by HCl and NaOH solutions because this is the acid and this is the alkali provided to us. So if 10 raised to 5 liters of hard water corresponds to 250 liters of 0.1 normal of HCl. Again I can write the same sentence of 10 raised to 5 liters of hard water corresponds to 250 liters of 0.1 normal of NaOH because over here I have an acid as well as an alkali. So it will be 250 liters and 0.1 normal of NaOH and we will find the equivalence of CaCO3 in it. This will be 250 into 0.1 that is 1 normal of CaCO3 equivalent. What is 250 into 0 0.1? It is as good as 250 into 1 upon 10. The 0 of 10 and the 0 of 250 will get cancelled and what will remain is just 25. And over here I get the answer as 25. This 25 liters is the equivalent of CaCO3 present. That means this much hardness is present in 10 raised to 5 liters of my hard water. 
one normal CaCO3 represents 50 grams of CaCO3. So now we'll have to find it for 25 liters. So now 10 raised to 5 liters of water will correspond to 25 liters into 50 because 1 corresponds to 50. So 10 raised to 5 liters corresponds to 25. 1 normal of CaCO3 corresponds to 15. Therefore, we'll multiply both of them. That is 25 into 50. So this we found out 1 to 50 grams for 10 raised to 5 liters of water. Now we have 1 liter of water. So we will divide this entire content with 10 raised to 5 liters. So it is 1 to 50 upon 10 raised to 5. And when you calculate this, you get 0 0.0125 grams of CaCO3 equivalent. Converting this grams into mgs, that is milligrams, we have 0 0.0125, that is this over here, into 1000. And this gives us 12.5. Thus, the hardness of water is nothing but 12.5 mg per liter, also known as ppm. This is my hardness of water. In today's session, we studied about the ion exchange method and we saw two important numericals on ion exchange method. We also studied those important keywords onto which we can find out that which numerical corresponds to that method and the entire format and formula of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.